Last series is like the future of note taking. Hey friends, welcome to or welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Ashwat Singh, a student studying in the IB program. And today, I'll be taking you through an amazing note taking app that I found called Capacities. It's a new personal knowledge management tool, and I feel like it's Notion and Logs that came together to create a wonderful app which just works seamlessly and does everything you want it to do. So let's get right to it. So let me start with the first question. Why am I using capacities? Well, if you've been on my channel before, you know that I use Notion and Logset together to create my second brain of sorts. I use Notion for things like Active Recall, using the extension to store videos and articles, and just about managing my daily life. And I use Logset on the side to store notes, or like on the side to store more detailed explanations, and also for its daily notes feature. But the thing is that when I was using Notion, I really missed some parts about Logsec. Like the way that content, outside content specifically, interacted with the with Logsec. I missed all the linking of content, how easy it was to both link content and create content through linking. Which was really useful to me because it made note taking very easy and very seamless. I just, I just connected information and came back to it later. And that's when I discovered Capacities. Capacities basically has combined Notion everything I love about Notion with everything I love about Logsec and just combine them. At least that's been my experience. Like for me, in capacities, all of the toggles, the highlights and more, which is from the Notion side that I really liked, has been combined with the stuff from the Logsec side, like the daily notes, the to-do kind of stuff that it has, and also the graph views. I have really missed those on Notion. Because these graph views really help you navigate content much faster because it just dots connected with each other, which is very useful. So that's basically why I've been using capacities, because it has basically combined notions, elements that I really liked, like its UI and all of its features, with logsex daily notes and logsex graph views. And those two have just combined together and it's called capacities for me. So let's get back then, let me show you what capacities can do and maybe why you should start using it. Okay, so this is Capacities. So when you start Capacities, you're met with a daily note, which is something that I really missed when using Notion. And now it's here. So basically in the daily notes, what I usually do is I just write what I have to do and whenever I'm in the mood to write the pages, basically what I've been doing that day. So I just add the page and I can just easily start writing everything in here. As you can see, it shows all the toggles in here and you can just keep writing stuff, which is really nice. And when you want to close it, you can either click the toggle or you can just do command enter whenever there's stuff in it. Like let's say you add something in this. Let's just you add something like this. You can easily open and close with command enter. Then after that, you also have a view of the entire month over here, which is really nice because let's say that you want to see what all stuff or when you've added content, you can see it here. And in addition to that, which is something really cool, is basically there's a really large time component in capacities like time is very interlinked with the app so whenever you have any properties related to date or time they'll always show up on that particular date over here so you can see everything that happened on a particular day it is really useful and i've actually found it to be very useful with doing active recall with because you can see everything that was revised on a particular day in a very easy and seamless manner then after that you can also create content blocks so when you put slash, you're able to see every single option that is there. I got Notion had a lot, this has a lot as well. And they're constantly adding to this as well because they have a very active Discord community where you can give suggestions and also get help. And that help aspect is really useful because sometimes I had tasks at capacity that I would just ask on Discord and it would respond and it was very useful. So if you do choose to use capacities, do join a Discord server where you can ask all your questions and even give suggestions. So yeah, so that's basically how you can add. You can either add with plus or minus. Sorry for a slight distraction, but I just wanted to mention that. And after you can embed content. And this is where I really, really enjoy capacities. So when you do slash slash, you can easily create pages just like this, like Ashwat's YouTube channel. And then you can easily just add content like that. I really found that when I was using capacities, both the creation and linking of content was so easy and seamless, it was almost like a second mind was running on this app itself. So now that you're on a page, let's see what all you can do. So one is you can make templates, such as let's say you want to create a new template, you can easily add whatever you want, you can add a description like this template, then you can add, um, let's say you want to add a few headers, header to some text, and that's it. 
and you can even name a template. Let's say I just name this as, uh, let's say, sample template. And then you can go back and you'll see sample template and just adds it. So that's really nice because if you have a particular way you want to use information or store information, you can just create templates for that and easily have it. And another really nice thing which Logsec does as well, which I really like that it's been implemented in this, is the backlink. So it just shows you what everything has been linked to, which is really nice. Then after that, you can also pin pages. Like for me, I've pinned live dashboard and a studio for your mind, which is basically the page that comes with it, which is really nice. So that you can basically see whatever you require and also understand the app when you first use it. Then after that, in case you don't want dark mode, which I actually forgot to mention, there's also a light mode. Both look incredibly nice and I can't decide which one looks better, but I'll go back to dark mode for now. So now you can also link tags as pinned pages as well, which is really nice because I can have my main tags over here and just refer to them very easily. Of course, you can also refer to them just by doing this as well and just have everything there. Now that we're in a particular object type, let me show you how you can do everything here. So first is the list view, which basically gives you everything as a view as a list, which you can just go through, sorted by particular objects as well, which is really nice. Then you have gallery, which basically makes it particular stuff like this and organizes everything based on the kind of content it is. Then you have wall, which just shows everything in a really nice way. So let me show you what it actually does. So let's say that you take this page. So basically stores all of your pictures and all of your content based on the separate heights and widths it has, which is really cool because it makes content look really nice and amazing. And also very aesthetic, by the way, like doesn't this look very aesthetic. Then after that, you can also have objects types, which I'll tell you about now. So when you have object types, they're basically like containers for your notes. So basically over here, you can see that I have the containers of YouTube IB, PDFs, daily notes, and web links. So that is really nice because basically now you have multiple containers of notes, not just everything stored in one particular place. And I really like the way that this has been implemented more specifically because you can have subdivisors which are very easily accessible to you. Like these, these are collections of stuff. So basically just think about how you have a box of information. Let's like you have a box of, um, let's say memories. You can add separate dividers in them to separate content based on what it is. Like for me, the YouTube thing that I just showed. So that's really nice about capacities because not only does it make adding content easy and linking content easy, it makes organizing content extremely easy, which is really nice and makes note taking a much more pleasurable experience. Now let me show you the one feature which I absolutely love in capacities. And that comes when you have a lot of content on a particular page. So let's just go to the paper three page. Now over here, you can see that there's a lot, a lot of content. So over here, you can go to graph view and it shows you every single thing that has been linked to this particular page, which is really nice because as you can see, there are a lot of links in here and trying to figure each one out would be extremely hard. So this was quite useful to me and really helpful as well. So basically you can also have show more, basically means it shows everything that has some sort of relevance to that particular page, but oftentimes the first layer is good enough for me. Then after that, you also have ways to show content as a separate page on a separate tab. So one way to do it is by clicking command, command click, which makes it a new page, which you may need if you want to have it as a separate thing completely. But sometimes I just want to preview a page. So the way that I do it is by basically doing shift click, which is extremely useful to me because then I can see everything as a side page and easily go back whenever I require, which is extremely useful. So yeah, that's basically everything that you'd probably need to know about capacities. Oh wait, no, I forgot. I remembered one more thing. Let me just go to the Huber mini lab. Also a really good podcast, by the way. So basically when you have a lot of content like this, it creates a table of contents automatically for you. It was really nice because you can see everything that you have in a particular way, like how you can see over here that it also organizes it by headers as well sometimes, which is really nice. So this is really useful when you have a lot of content because you can easily just do everything. And in addition to that, also there's a share option where you can basically share it to other people. You can export as separate formats if you require that. And another really nice thing is how to handle descriptions and web links. Because you basically add a thumbnail for you automatically. They add where it's come from with a logo. They've added a description of the page if it has one. 
And also you can see all the links in context, which is basically if you're at the top, you just want to see all the links. Or you can also just simply just go to the tags themselves and just look at them. So the thing that I really like about this is that it, first, it allows you to see content easily, organize it easily, collect it easily, and it makes it very easy to do basically anything you want it to do. So yeah, that's basically everything that's there in capacities. I'll be making a cohesive video about my workflow and capacity. So if you want to know that, feel free to subscribe to the channel so you're notified about those videos. But now let's get to why you should use capacities. Okay, so who should use capacities? I think capacities is the combination of all of the archetypes. Firstly, because it gives you rules that you have to follow, but doesn't limit you in your possibilities. It allows you to store information in a sort of categorical and linear way, like a librarian archetype would like. But it also allows you to grow your knowledge organically using the linking of content, which is sort of like a gardener archetype. So I think capacities is like the future of note taking because it works for just about any person and it works to you, not to a particular structure. I really found the objects really freeing because they created a new kind of organization which I didn't know that I needed. So yeah, I feel like capacities is for just about anybody who needs a knowledge management app, which has a really cool UI, has a lot of features, has a very active Discord community as well, which helps you a lot by getting used to capacities or any questions you have. In fact, they help me a lot as well. So try capacities out if you want to because you won't regret it. It's an incredible app and all the features in it make it a really good and robust app, which I feel like may just be the note-taking app which I was looking for all along. So thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.